Hi everyone, and welcome to this lesson where we are going to learn to play the A minor pentatonic scale in five positions on the fretboard. Now if we wanted to, we could play this in different keys, and to do that we would just need to take these patterns and move them about to different places on the neck, but I think that's going to be a topic for another day, we'll just stick with one key for just now. So if you find when you're improvising that you get stuck in one place on the fretboard, or maybe you try to branch out to different places but you find yourself getting lost and making mistakes and not being able to find notes that you like the sound of, or being able to find phrases that you like the sound of, or maybe you've never tried improvising before and this is you first getting into it, well this is going to be the video for you. Before we get into actually playing any scales, let's just have a wee quick chat about what a pentatonic scale actually is, and then we'll have a look at what they look like on a guitar. So what is a scale? A scale is just a repetitive pattern of intervals. Now an interval is just a musical term for measuring the distance between two different musical notes. Um, I like to think, however, of a scale as being like a family of notes. It's a group of notes that sound good together and are all related to one another. And we can use scales to write melodies and come up with chords and create solos when we're improvising. Now, a pentatonic scale is a five note scale, pent meaning five, like a pentagon. So that means that we can play a pentatonic scale in five different positions on the fretboard. And that's what we're going to look at now. We're going to see how to play them in the key of A minor. So let's get into it. So to play position one of the A minor pentatonic scale, we're going to take our first finger and put it on the fifth fret of the low E string. This is the note A. This is our root note. And we're going to play frets five and eight with our first and fourth fingers. Then on the A string, we're going to play frets five and seven. Then on the D string, we're going to play frets 5 and 7. On the G string, we're going to play frets 5 and 7. On the B string, we're going to play frets 5 and 8. And on the high E string, we're going to play frets 5 and 8. Now to descend this pattern, all we need to do is take all of those notes and just play them backwards. To play position 2, we're going to take our 2nd finger and put it on the 8th fret of the low E string, and we're going to play frets 8 and 10 with our 2nd and 4th fingers. Then on the A string, we're going to play frets 7 and 10 with our 1st and 4th fingers. On the D string, we're going to play frets 7 and 10. On the G string, we're going to play frets 7 and 9 with our 1st and 3rd fingers. Then on the B string, we're going to play frets 8 and 10 with our 2nd and 4th fingers. And on the high E string, we're going to play frets 8 and 10 again with our 2nd and 4th fingers. And again, to descend this position, all we need to do is just take all those notes and play them backwards. play position 3, we're going to take our first finger and put it on the 10th fret of the low E string, and with our first and third fingers we're going to play frets 10 and 12. Then on the A string we're going to play frets 10 and 12. On the D string we're going to play frets 10 and 12. Now on the G string, we're going to play frets 9 and 12. Now for this, I like to just reach my first finger back a fret, and then play the 12th fret with my third finger still. We're going to the B string, we're going to play frets 10 and 13, with our first and fourth fingers, so that means we don't have to change position. And then on the high E string, we're going to play frets 10 and 12. 
And then again, we can play this in reverse order to descend. To play position four, we're gonna put our first finger on the 12th fret of the low E string. And with our first and fourth fingers, we're gonna play frets 12 and 15. Then on the A string, we're gonna play frets 12 and 15. On the D string, we're gonna play frets 12 and 14. On the G string, we're gonna play frets 12 and 14. On the B string, we're gonna play frets 13 and 14 using our second and fourth fingers. And then on the high E string, we're gonna play frets 12 and 15 again. And just like with the other shapes, we can just play all those notes in reverse order, and then that'll be us descending the position. Now if we wanted to, we could move up to the 15th fret and play position five, but what we're gonna do instead is just move it down one octave, so that's 12 frets. So instead, we're gonna go down to the third fret on the low E string, we're gonna put our second finger on the third fret, and we're gonna play frets three and five with our second and fourth fingers. Then on the A string, we're gonna play frets three and five. On the D string, we're gonna play frets two and five with our first and fourth fingers. On the G string, we're gonna play frets two and five. On the B string, we're gonna go back to frets three and five. And on the high E string, we're gonna go back to frets three and five. And again, we can play all these notes in reverse order to descend the position. So take some time, practice all those positions, get them under your fingers, get confident with them, start trying to bump up the tempo slowly so we can get them a bit faster and faster. And then once you're happy with all that, have a wee look at my other video on the pentatonic scales, which hopefully there should be a link to somewhere around about here on screen just now. In that video, we're gonna go through how to weave in and out between the different positions, get more fluent at using them all over the fretboard, and then we can start using them in our solos and our improvisations. So happy practicing, can't wait to see you there.